A really big day in the trial of Karen Reed. After weeks, the prosecution has rested, and now the defense is gearing up to argue its side of the story. Well, Reed is accused of killing her boyfriend, Boston police officer John O'Keefe, but she says she is the victim of a conspiracy. NBC 10's Kirsten Glavin joins us live outside court in Dedham, where it looks like things are on the home stretch, Kirsten. Yeah, the defense may have just started, but they're already wrapping up quickly. I'm told they only have three more witnesses to call, a pathologist and two accident reconstructionists. Whether or not After 28 days of testimony, prosecutors for the state resting their case in the Karen Reed murder trial after finishing with their last uh, witness, the medical examiner. Thank you, Your Honor. Commonwealth rest. A Canton DPW plow driver then sworn in as a first witness for Reed's defense. The driver testifying that he made multiple passes by the home on Fairview Road throughout those early morning hours and did not see O'Keefe's body. What? If anything, did you see on the front lawn in the area of the flagpole? I saw nothing. Next up, a retired emergency room forensic pathologist testifying that O'Keefe's arm wounds were caused by an animal attack, likely a large dog. There's also little punctate, incomplete puncture marks here, uh, little, round, little round marks right there that uh, were uh, inflicted by the actual point of the tooth. In our cross, the doctor pressed on how well she knew the case. Are you being asked as an ER doctor to come to a quick conclusion in, in this case? No. But you did anyway. It's how I'm trained. The president of United States Forensics, a digital investigation firm, testifying next about O'Keefe's cell phone and health data, showing him taking steps and ascending three flights of stairs. Later, he testified Jennifer McCabe's Google search, Haas long to die in the cold, was first made at 2.27 a.m. The prosecution has said it was made after 6 a.m. later that morning. That would have happened at or before uh, January 29, 2022, at 2.27.40 a.m. in the morning. Reed's defense tells me that they're likely to finish all of this and wrap it up on Monday with closing arguments very likely to happen on Tuesday. After that, it will be up to a jury to deliberate. We're live here in Dedham. I'm Kirsten Glavin, NBC10 Boston.